Hey, this is Piotr Walczyszyn, Adobe Creative Cloud Evangelist. Uh, so in this very short video tutorial, I wanted to show you how you can use Adobe Media Encoder tool, which comes with Adobe Creative Cloud, of course, and products like Premiere Pro or After Effects. Uh, so how you can use this tool to export, instead of a video content, or uh, a, actually a sequence of uh, still images, uh, which, well, you can use probably for thousands of different purposes. Uh, one of the purposes I wanted to use it was this tool or this uh, actually a JavaScript library that I created, which is called uh, scroll to play. So let me quickly show you that. Uh, so once I launch it, it will load actually in the back all the images that I want to play sort of in, in a sequence. And once I scroll, it gives me this nice pseudo mm, parallax video playback effect, which actually, so if I can, you can see I'm scrolling the page down and I'm doing a, at the same time 360, uh, you know, trick on this wakeboard and I can scroll till to the very bottom. So the, the library is actually scroll to play. It's available on GitHub. It's open source. You can play it, you know, with it, break it, use it for your own products projects, whatever. Uh, so, but basically I used to create the sequence of still images, which are loaded in the back. Uh, I use Adobe Media Encoder. Uh, so let me first show you how you can use Adobe Media Encoder directly for Premiere Pro. So I have the sequence. I created a short video clip about uh, me riding on a wakeboard with some of my friends. And uh, you can go, of course, to export. And here in export, you have a format. And instead of using like H.264 or other video formats, uh, you can select JPEG. And there are some uh, presets for a JPEG. So maybe you want to do like 720p, so that will build 1280 by 720 a resolution with 24 um, uh, frames per second. And of course, this is something I want to use. And maybe you want to change the frames per second. In my case, for my scroll to play, like 15 was good enough and you hit export and it starts exporting. So this is something that, you know, this is how you can use it when you produce your video in Premiere Pro. Instead of, uh, if you don't want it, you know, if you don't produce your video or if you already have a, a, a ready content in, uh, so you can go in directly to Adobe Media Encoder and here you can go into mm, uh, Finder or whatever uh, you are using uh, if you're on Windows and uh, you can actually drag and drop your existing like this in this case it's my encoded uh, sequence um, into mp4 and here I can now select from this um, uh, presets panel here uh, there is image sequence JPEG uh, select one of those which I want drag and drop it well, I already had that as a default, so it was uh, used there, but you could see uh, that, you know, this is a sequence of still images. So if I click now uh, on, on the preset, I can modify it. So instead of 24 frames per second, I still want to go back to 15. Maybe I want to narrow down the scope of my uh, exported, you know, sequence. So I don't want to, you know, export a whole few minutes of a video, just a short, a short clip. So I can select this range here. Uh, that's somewhere where I'm actually doing the 360 thing and press OK and play. And now what it does, it actually exports into my folder wherever I had my project. So, well, I just made a little bit of a mess in that folder, but let's go there and see. Oh, there we go. So you can see it has created me this uh, uh, sequence of images and uh, well, and there it is. So yeah, let's just clean up. I don't want to have this here. Okay, so uh, you, you got the point, you see how it works now. Uh, go ahead, play around. Remember that from Adobe Media Encoder, you can actually uh, select a sequence of images, stills like JPEGs, there's PNGs, DPX, and other formats available. So um, go ahead and use it. And remember about my scroll to play uh, library, which you can get on GitHub. Thank you very much and bye.